What's up guys, it's Leet Coder. This is Leet Code 153, Find Minimum in Rotated Sorted Array. Basically, we're given an integer array that's rotated some number of times, and we have to find the minimum. And we can't do this in O of n time, it has to be in O of log n time. So the O of n algorithm would be to go through this array, check each element, and check if that element is less than the minimum and set minimum to be that element if so, and then return minimum. We can't do that because they're asking specifically for O of log n time. What does O of log n time really mean? Well, in computer science, log n time usually refers to log base two n time, which means that you're cutting the input in half in every iteration. So first iteration, you would check the full array, then you would check half, then you would check the half of that, and then you would check half of that, and so on. What's an algorithm that can do that? Well, if you know array algorithms, you know that binary search does that. So how does binary search work? If we're given a normal sorted array like this, and the target is to find two, what we would do is we would check the middle element, then we would say, okay, is the middle element greater than the target, or is it less than? So now we would only consider this part of the array. Now we have one, two, then we would say, okay, let's get the middle. It'd be one here. Is one less than or greater than? It's less than. So we only consider this part and oh, we found the element. But our input we know is rotated some number of times. So we can't just do binary search directly like this. So we can't just check that this four is less than five because well, one is also less than five, so it doesn't really help us. So how do we approach this? First thing I would do is I would draw out all of the possible rotations of this input array. Okay, we have all possible rotations, and now we want to get the middle element for each one, just like a normal binary search. Now we need to figure out a way to cut up the array in half and continue going forward until we find the minimum element. So we need to think of a condition that works for all of these possible rotations. So some requirements here, we want to compare the middle element with something else. And basically, we need to find where the inflection point is. And the inflection point is when the number goes from the maximum to the minimum. So five to one here, five to one here, five to one here. Technically it'd be five, one here, five, one here. All right, so we wanna find that inflection point and return the minimum from that. So after doing some trial and error and thinking about it for a bit, you can come across this comparison. So if the middle is greater than the right element, that means that the inflection point must come after the middle element. So for example, if five is greater than two, that means the inflection point must come after this five. So the array that we consider is one and two. Here is one greater than three, no. So therefore the array that we consider is this. Is two greater than four, no. So we consider this. Is three greater than five, no. So we consider this is four greater than one? Yes, so we consider this. And so you can see that this condition here actually works for all of these rotations. Now let's continue going forward with the example they gave, three, four, five, one, two, and see how the algorithm works. Okay, so we have our first iteration here, middle is five, we compare it with two. Five is greater than two, so now we cut up the array like this. So now middle is going to be one here, and we want to see is one greater than two? It's not. So now we cut up the array like this. Now that the size of this array is one, we can just return this element. And that's all there is to it. So we're going to look at the code and I'll give some tips about how to approach this problem later. But if you found this helpful so far, please give a like and a subscribe because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. And with that said, let's get to the code. Okay, first thing we do is define left equal to zero and right equal to the length of nums minus one. And this is how we're going to define the size of the current array that we're checking. Now, while left is less than right, not less than or equal to because less than or equal to would make the loop go on forever. So we get the mid now, mid equals left plus right divided by two. And now we check if nums at mid is greater than nums at right. And that's the main condition that we need to think about. And if that's true, then we just set left equal to mid plus one, because we know the inflection point is going to be on the right side. And we know mid cannot be the minimum element because it's greater than nums right. Else, we just make right equal mid. 
the very end, we just return nums at left. We got the right answer here, and let's submit. And that's it. Now, the code, pretty simple if you look at it. It's only, what, eight lines of code? But coming up with this condition is the hardest part. And in order to do that, like I said, it helps to just draw out all possible rotations of one example and just think of a condition that works for all of those possibilities. And the other trick about this problem is once you see that it says log n, you should start thinking about algorithms that cut up the input in half each time. And that's all there is to it. So if you found this helpful, please give a like and a subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what problem you'd like to see next. See you next time.